Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be doing a review of iOS 6 for you guys, which is the new developer preview that was released by Apple at the WWDC earlier this week. I know a lot of people have been wanting to see a video on the new iOS 6 before it's released in the fall. And this is a beta, so it is a little bit buggy, but I'm going to be showing you a lot of the new features they included uh, with the operating system as well as some of the new design changes that they included. I am running this on my iPod Touch 4. I do believe it works on the iPhone 3GS and up, iPhone, iPod Touch 4 and iPad 2 and iPad 3 so I'm gonna be showing you some of the new features here so I'll start off with not really a feature I can't really show it to you but there is gonna be better Chinese support for those users who speak Chinese in China uh, or wherever you live in the world and that's always good along with that they've added a lot of new integration features for the newer languages including Chinese um, for those users who want those so that's always good um, moving on from that though is actually a feature. They are adding full Facebook integration into iOS 6. If you go to settings here and scroll down, you can see that they actually added a Facebook um, thing into the settings. Twitter you can sign in anyway, as you can see I'm signed in right there. And Facebook, if you sign in simply, it'll ask if you want to install the app. And you can, for example, if you wanted to go to a web page here and uh, if I can actually click in the thing and go to ESPN for example say you want to share that this is the redesigned sharing page you can share it on Twitter or Facebook if I click Facebook here it might tell me it's not set up but it looks exactly like Twitter as you can see uh, you simply go like that and it will be able to tweet out or Facebook out your message also you can access Facebook and Twitter from the notification center now by scrolling down I only have Twitter installed right now but if you install Facebook you can actually tap and it will actually ask you if you want to post something to Facebook which is very cool I like that a lot um, also another feature I can't show you but I can tell you about is FaceTime over 3G and 4G cell service as you can see this is the iPod Touch 4 so it's got both the front facing and back facing camera you will, you will now be able to use that FaceTime feature over cell phone service it was previously only available on Wi-Fi unless you jailbroke your device which is good um, also, there is flyover and turn-by-turn -turn GPS as well as you can see in the new maps icon. I'll open it up here. Apple has actually updated the maps to be solely Apple Maps. Um, I'm going to X out of this little thing here. Uh, to be solely Apple Maps. So basically, Google Maps is saying goodbye to the... Um, to the iPhone and iOS. Basically, you will be able to view all of your content here. Um, it's a completely redesigned app. As you can see, the icon was new and now it looks completely different. Um, you got your bookmarks up here, uh, directions right there, and you can actually find your current location. If you scroll up here, it's exactly like the uh, old Google Maps was. You can change all the settings. You can drop a pin, as you can see, and that's what a pin generally looks like. It looks generally the same. And there is actually there is actually um, turn by turn GPS which I can't show you today because it does not actually work on the iPod Touch 4 but it works on all the other devices which is very cool so I know a lot of people are going to like that I know that's going to kill GPS apps and really harm them in the App Store but it's great that Apple actually integrated that into the whole operating system which is always good news um, also there's going to be new guided access so if you go into settings here and scroll down to not iCloud, I'm sorry, and scroll down to general and then down to accessibility you will see there's a lot more accessibility options which really helps out those who want them. Um, also there's going to be a new design of the iTunes store and the App Store as you can see it is completely br uh, black now which is good I'll let it load up here. I'm not going to sign in but as you can see, um, it actually is completely redesigned. It's all black, um, which is great. This is what it actually looks like. They're trying to unify the iTunes Store on the iPad and the iPhone and the every device, which looks great. So that's what the iTunes Stores look like. A lot of new options there. Um, there are also a couple other redesigned apps. As you can see, the camera app is completely grayed out now. It's all black, which is great. Um, I'm sure you noticed this in Safari, but the status bar is black at the top now instead of actually um, instead of actually white like it used to be so that's actually interesting too um, in Safari also they have added an offline reading list so 
as you can see, if you go, I'm not sure if it's in the share menu. Um, it is in the share menu, so you can add to reading list and read things offline later. I'm not sure if they included that in the iPod Touch before iOS 6. Um, also, a new app they're including is Passbook. As you can see right here, Passbook, if you open it up, it's not fully working right now, but generally what Passbook is is an app where you can store boarding passes, tickets, uh, show cards, etc., and just store them on your device rather than actually carrying them around, which is great for a lot of people who just want to carry around their phone and not actually all those cards, which is great. Um, also, also in the phone app, which I don't have on here. If someone calls you, you can actually send them a text over iMessage back. Um, you can send it to voicemail or you can set a reminder to let you call them back, um, which is great. It's helpful if, if you want to uh, remember to call the person back or help them out before you actually pick up the phone. Um, so that's good. Also, there's Safari tab syncing. As you can see here, if I go to iCloud tabs, that's actually... Um, tabs that are offline which is great you can view them on all your devices so they're synced over all your devices there's also shared photo streams in the photo app series coming to iPad 3 um, but not the iPad Touch 4 and there's a lot of mail enhancements as well you'll have a VIP inbox where you can choose what actually goes into that um, instead of having all your spam in one email box but those are all the general updates I saw to iOS 6 guys I will be uploading a later video if I find any more differences but hopefully you like this video just a quick rundown of a lot of the features sorry if it was jumbled because I was trying to go through it quickly but for more content be sure to subscribe rate thumbs up and thanks for watching also favorite the video and my Twitter website um, Facebook Google Plus and other partner channel will be in the description where I post vlogs and stuff so check those out if you wish I'm sure you'll like that too so thanks for watching I appreciate it guys and I'll catch you in the next video peace